Welcome back once again everyone, I'm Kepler's Games, this is Fallout 4, and in the previous episode we fixed the water filtration plant, made the robots at Grey Garden happy, we made them so happy that they gave us full control over the settlement, and we built our own little private apartment here with a bed and some water, and all the workbenches in the world. We're not ever going to have any humans here because they also need beds and water and food and things. And I'd rather that the robots did nothing but produce food for us. We put lots of planters in here so it's making corn and potatoes and meat fruit, which when you combine in a cooking station with purified water which comes from these pumps, it makes vegetable starch and vegetable starch, each unit of that provides five of these of them. So we have a huge glue farm up here in Grey Garden and a little outpost for ourselves whenever we need a rest. That's great. So what is the plan for today? Well, as I said, we're not going very far away. We're just going to the Cambridge Police Station to meet up with the Space Marines. I mean, Brotherhood of Steel to do their introductory quest, which we have been offered. So we should probably track it. I believe it's called... not that one, not that one, not that one. Oh, come on, where is it? That one. Call to Arms. We we just walked out on Paladin Dance. He was ready to take us on an adventure and we just walked away from him. So let's get a move... Oh, actually, before we get a move on, let, let's speak to the dog. Where Where is the dog? Because I'm sure the dog picked up a missile launcher. You, come here. Hold. Stay there. Yes, we're going to relieve the dog of that because. Psst. Let's go. And we're going to just quickly dump that off here because missile launchers weigh an awful lot, and the dog is our backpack. Yes, that weighs twenty-one pounds. So let's get rid of that. This is as empty as we're going to be for the next little while. Um, we don't need to carry this armor around with us anymore. Because we hit level 25 and we got armor of rank 3, which means if we had the resources, we could upgrade all of our armor to ridiculously high levels. But unfortunately, we don't have the resources. We need things like ballistic fiber and especially leather. Whoops. Something has exploded over there. And that car's about to explode as well. Oh, was something blowing up in Fallout 4. Love it. So let's go and hang out with Paladin Dance and do his mission. Make him happy. And that will have us introduced to one of the four main factions. Oh, oh I see what it is. It's a, it's a provisioner of some description who is killing all the zombies up there. That's fine. You do you. Let's stealthily approach this bridge. Because it is a random encounter spawner. I'm not seeing anyone or anything on it. Which is strange, but, you know, I'll take it. These frag mines are still here. Let's just pick them up. Before something else sets them off. Hmm, nothing on the bridge. Very strange. There is another random encounter spawner spawner not too far from here that billboard thing there just beyond that around that little corner there is another random encounter spawner so you can just run between the two locations they're far enough away that they unload each other's cells when you visit them so you can just run between these two and get lots of random encounters all the time if you so wish Why is there a telephone lying in the middle of the road? Uh, hello? <laughs> oh, Fallout 4, you are very strange. Right, we're taking that. Just a, a telephone just lying in the middle of the road. Okay. Must have got thrown there by an explosion, I suppose. Oh, we're at the police station now so we can stand up. This place is safe. 44 rounds, fusion cell, 44. We will just check these guys in case they have any leather. Because they haven't despawned yet. And we haven't been back here for weeks and all these dead bodies are still here. Anything good? No. Crispy squirrel bits, alright. Take the food, thank you. 
I've admit, is that leather or is it just cloth? Asbestos and cloth. Okay, don't care. Right, let's do a quest with Paladin Dance. All we have to do is to talk to him and the quest will begin pretty much straight away. Hey, you. Excuse me, Paladin Dance. You ready to move out? Yeah. Ready. Outstanding. Follow me and try not to lag behind. Oh, S tier animations. See, he got stuck behind the dog, and he's still stuck behind the dog. Now he's got out. We're hungry and thirsty already. Let's eat the crispy squirrel bits we just liberated from that dead guy. And some bot fly were fed. Now we're watered. Let's follow Paladin Dance. For the duration of this mission, Paladin Dance is invulnerable. Kickball. I believe that's leather. Rubber. Damn it. So he's invincible during this whole mission. We'll so we can now. just like stand behind him. And he will he will clear the entire mission on his own. Arc Jet is a short hike to the west. If we take this road, we should be able to avoid the larger packs of ferals infesting Cambridge. Traveling this far from the police station is a risk. But getting that transmitter up and running needs to be our top priority. If it was up to me, I'd relocate my team. But Scribe Halen detected some disturbing energy readings in the area that need to be investigated. We don't know much about them, except that they're short-lived and broadcast on a frequency only attainable with a high level of technology. We're concerned that whoever or whatever is creating those energy readings might be a potential threat. So it's our job to investigate. You will notice that these ghouls and dead people were not here about three seconds ago. They only spawn when you start this quest. I'm not sure why, but they do. There's a few other things that don't spawn until you're on this quest. And another one is an encounter underneath that bridge. You hear that? Don't worry, Mr. Dance. I have taken care of it already. Let's just investigate this place. Will we get a pie? Will we get a pie? Give me the pie. Oh, oh damn it. There's never usually anything in these. Nope. Anything in here? 10 mil rounds? We'll take them. I'll have a look inside this bus. Just in case there's something in here. Bobby pin, we'll take. Nothing else. What's in this box? Frag mine and four frag grenades. We don't really use them, so we're just going to leave them. What's in this little toolbox down here? Duct tape. Uh, does a flip lighter have oil? Yes. I believe we were getting a little bit low on oil. We'll take the fuse as well, because copper is always good. Let's have a look at all these dead bodies. Aha, it was a trader and some raiders. Caravan guard. Ball cap. Raider scavenger. 308 rounds. We'll take that because we need that for our sniper rifle. And the psycho. And, and Brahmin. It might surprise you to learn that my recon team isn't the first to visit the Commonwealth. Over the last seven years, two other teams were sent here by the Brotherhood to gather technology. The first team's mission was a huge success. They came back with crates full of pre-war artifacts and historical documents. The second wasn't so fortunate. Shortly after they arrived, we lost contact with them, and they haven't been heard from since. As far as my team goes, we've lost four good men to this godforsaken wasteland. We've been a target from the moment we arrived. But despite our setbacks, I don't intend to give up and head home, or end up missing. Right, now he's finished his speech. Let's investigate this pack Brahmin. Right, some money we'll take, 10mm rounds we'll take, Guard X we'll take, we can always sell it, Bobby Pin we're taking, Psycho we're taking, we can always sell it. 
All right, not a bad little haul. What's in here? Some medics, handcuffs, have screws in them. We're always short of screws for doing weapons upgrades. Not that we have many weapons that need upgrading. Coffer will take nothing else in here. That was the second encounter that only spawns on your rhythm, and the third one is just over here. It's a whole lot of dogs. I believe there's a couple of bloat flies up here as well. So we should probably go into sneak mode. Problem is that he's going to keep de detecting us all the time. I'm not sure he's even got to fire his laser rifle yet. We've done it all. There's the bloat flies. Hold. Stop moving. Stop. Yes. Oh you want my back? Watch yours. Oh, you didn't fire your weapon, did you? Okay, what have we here? Oh, it's despawned, because of course it did. Plot fly meat. Anything good? No. Okay, that's fine. Out of the way, dog. Just up here is about four or five dogs. Hopefully Paladin Dance will run ahead and aggro them. Stop, wait, don't wait for me, just go. Yeah, now he's actually doing something. He's actually pretty damn good in combat. And his laser rifle can turn things into piles of ash. Yeah, five, six, seven dogs and a dead rad stag. Lots of dog meat. And we'll get some leather from this. Yes, good. Ooh, rad, rad stag meat. How can we forget that? Military... What? Why has a dog got military grade duct tape in its mouth? I mean, I'll take it because ballistic fiber and adhesive is huge. All right. This has been a profitable trip already. We're not even in ArcJet systems yet. We've come here to get a distress pulser so he can call for reinforcements because there's only three people in his eight-man team left. So we're just going to leave there him. ArcJet systems. There shouldn't be any exterior security. So we'll head into the front. He's going to turn right, we're going to turn left, because underneath this beautiful air aircraft is a little stash of caps, sometimes some drugs, and after this quest, this platform then becomes a random encounter spawner. Yep, cap stash in the stim pack, lovely, lovely. We'll have a look in that little porter cabin there, as Paladin Dance will wait for us at the by the front door. Once we get into Archjack systems, you can very much just meow, run around and not do anything, and let him wipe out everything all on his own. So you can come here when you're really low level and just hide and let Paladin Dance kill everything for you. It's a perfectly viable strategy, but then we're level twenty-five with completely overpowered weapons, so. I think we'll be doing some killing as well. Wait, we need to talk to him. Get our orders. Paladin. Listen up. We do this clean and quiet. No heroics and by the book. Understood? Understood. Outstanding. Remember, our primary target is the deep range transmitter. Stay focused and check your fire. I don't want to be hit by stray bullets. You can enter this building before this quest, but some sections of it are blocked off. Which means that some sections you can only get to when this quest is active. So I think that after this quest finishes, they then become unavailable again, so... Do be sure to be thorough. Like this, that put the last nail in the coffin for mankind. They exploited technology for their own gains, pocketing the cash and ignoring the damage they've done. Cloth is always good because it makes beds and other things. There's another 10mm pistol line there. 
So he just runs ahead. Look at these wrecks. It appears as though the facility's automated security's already been dealt with. Looks like we missed the party. You're making a foolishly hasty assessment. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute Synths. Synth? Isn't that the same as robot? They're an abuse of technology created by the Institute. Abominations meant to improve upon humanity. It's unacceptable. They simply can't be allowed to exist. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. As I said, they dislike anything that's sentient and isn't human, and they also dislike anything that's high technology and they don't have control of, so they really, really hate synths. Because they are both of those things. Again, well, most of these are not actually robots, this because other than this I one... Still see a few pieces of salvage that the Brotherhood might be interested in. After we're done here, I'll have to mark you to sweep and retrieve. Let's have a look at this terminal. What can we do? Protect from control? Well, there's nothing we can do with that because they're all missing. Again, lots of lore. And nothing to do with that terminal. That's the only one that you can actually loot. All the rest are just scenery. Ooh, a door. Wood, cloth, yes. Cloth, yes. Gears, yes. Anything else in here? No. Check out all the filing cabinets. Paladin Dance is just being very patient and waiting for us. Check this desk. Silver fork. Don't care. Extinguisher will take. Looks like a dead end. See if you can find a way to get that door open. I'm going to reconnoiter the area. Okay, he wants to go through this door and it's locked. This very subtle clue tells us that we can open it with that terminal. An alarm clock. It's a work log. Screw cork plastic. Yeah, we'll take a globe. Cork is pretty rare, so we'll take it. Cigarette carton. Oops. What's up here? Nothing. Any loot boxes hidden in the rubble? No, okay. Hacking this is beyond me. Okay, we can't hack it. How about this terminal? Password security. Automated password change. Now, right? No, that should unlock this. Yep. Jolly good. Okay, let's open the door and get into sneak mode as soon as we tab out of this. Since. Oh, Outstanding. He was correct. The robots were killed by synths. I believe this is a uh, second generation mod. Space Marine is off doing his Enemy thing. Maybe utilizing stealth. How interesting. There's a lot of synths here, but that's okay. As I said, he's essential. He can't die. He'll kill everything. Okay, fusion cells are ammunition for laser rifles. They have laser pistols. Institute pistols and rifles are absolutely awful. They're nowhere near as good as normal laser pistols. These synth components don't weigh anything, so they're like free plastic, so you can pick up as many of them as you want. See, he's just gonna run ahead and just annihilate everything. Leaves us free to loot the place. Synth component, synth component, synth component. 
a melted synth here, synth component, and another one here. Now this seems to be a mix of first and second generation synths. Said first generation are all very definitely machines. Duct tape will take. What's in this cabinet? Nothing. What's in this one? Nothing. What's in this one? Nothing. I don't think we need to worry about stealth. We'll stay in sneak mode, but we'll turn the light on. Multiple synth targets. Take them down. Where? And he's destroyed some machine gun turrets. What power relay coils made out of copper and steel? Right, we'll take them. There's another one here, look. What's enhanced targeting card? Plastic silver circuitry. Never say no to free circuitry. Look, we can get up here. That's interesting. Ah, a door. Got it. Anyone at home? Maybe. Something else has exploded up there. No, that was him jumping off the. Damn synths have compromised most of the facility. Can you just run up the stairs? I'm gonna go up this ramp. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go in this room. Something there had a the mini minute. Yes, I know there's turrets ahead, but you're a big boy, you can deal with them. Stealth boy, we'll take it. It's good money. He's just quite happily running around, destroying everything in the mission all by himself. It doesn't take much to make Paladin dance happy. Tripwire, let's disable that. And then disable the Tesla arc. Take this because it's copper. Hmm. Here we are. Paladin Dance has completed this section of the mission all by his little self. It's a clever boy. Anything over here? Uh, no. Okay. What's in this? Ooh, a locked toolbox. What's in here? Sweet. Duct tape. Fuse. Take some gears. Chemistry station in case we need anything made. That's an expert lock safe. Can't break the code. Won't be able to pick this. Dang it, we can't hack we can't pick the lock and we can't hack the terminal to open the lock. Oh well, that's annoying. How far away are we? How far away are we from being able to get Hacking 3? Oh, we have Hacking 0, so we won't be hacking that. How about Lockpick? Okay. If we reach level 26, we could come back and pick this lock on the way out. Must remember that. Anyone in here? No, there is an armor workbench there, though. I don't... I mean, we have got some leather with us. There's a weapons workbench. What's in here? 308, 45? Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take this. Is there any armor that's worth upgrading, though? Maybe the Destroyer's Greaves. Right, we'll see if we can upgrade the Destroyer's Greaves to heavy armor right now. Destroyer's Greaves, light armor, heavy. Nah, we still need two more leather. There's no point in upgrading it to medium. I'd rather just go straight to heavy, because then we'd have to spend all this re resource and then all this again afterwards. So if we can find two more leather, then we can do that. That's the problem when you start getting the skills to do really good upgrades. They cost an awful lot of resources to actually upgrade. 
Ooh, lots of videos are there and a microscope. That's always good stuff. What's in here? I just, you know, take the adjustable wrench. It has a gear in it. Yeah, this is the ramp we were at. So now we go this way, up these stairs, and find Paladin Dance standing in a, a big pile of dead things. Looky here, we have a magazine. There we go. Energy weapons permanently inflict plus five critical damage. Interesting. What does this terminal let us do? Nothing, it's all just lore. And we'll find out what that lore was when we get into the basement. Anything in here? I will unlock it. Simply for the experience. I'm not sure it'll let us do anything. Hey, we got there. More lore and we can turn off the th some turrets. But I'm fairly sure Paladin Dance has already destroyed all the turrets. I'm a little bit thirsty, so let's have a drink. Lovely. Have you been in this room? Yes, this is where we came in. Okay. Lost my bearings there for a moment. Where does this, this go? It goes to a safe, which is novice. Good. Or not good, as the case might be. Oh, have I only got 30 bobby pins? Nice. 45 round, 10 mil round, some money. Good. Yep, Paladin Dance has been busy. Blowing up all the gun turrets. Anything in these desks? Ooh, there's some pencils. We'll take them for the lead. So we can convert the lead into ammunition later on. Globe, because cork is rare. This, because we can sell them and they don't weigh very much. There's another machine gun turret. He's destroyed. That's the room we were just in. Anything good in here? Overdue book we'll take, because they are for a quest we have not met yet. These overdue books are s spread out all over the Commonwealth. You'll find them all over the place. There are book return machines where you deposit the books and then you can get various prizes from them. Only one of them is really any good. Yep, Mr. Dance has blown up all four of these turrets. He's gone down there. We're gonna go in here. Ooh, ammo. Shotgun shells. Don't care. We'll take that. Nothing else there. And these doors are blocked. Okay. Let's go down here then. More cigarettes. Some more colas. Dead body. Oh, Mintax. Right, I'll take them. Ah, a little room. This is one of the rooms that's only available during this mission. I'll take that and that. And we'll open this safe. Nice. 10 mil rounds, that and that. Good. Let's unlock this just for the XP. I'm sure all it will let us do is toggle the locked state of that safe. Yes. Yep. It's some more lore and lets us toggle the lock of the floor safe. Right, here's Paladin Dance. Engine cores ahead. Should be our final stop. What's up here? Mentats and Rad X, yes please. Okay, what we have here is an experimental rocket engine, because Arcjet were a rocketry company. He seems to be waiting for us. Why are you waiting? Paladin Dance. Keep moving. We'll talk later. Well, get a move on then. Watch Jesus. your footing. Looks like the power's out in this section. The transmitter should be in the control room at the top of the core. But it looks like the elevators are dead. We'll have to keep heading down for now and find a way to get the facility's power back online. Okay. Look at this place. Scribes would have a field day in here. 
We need to get up to the top, but the elevators are down, so we need to find a way to turn them back on. Scout the maintenance area off of the chamber. I'll remain here and watch our backs. Okay. So we need to find a way to turn the power back on. Oh, that looks ominous. Engine start button. Wood and cloth is good. What we have here is one of the stupidest weapons in the game. It's the only time you will ever find it. It's unique. Bingo. What this does, it fires junk items from your inventory and that's it. You can kill people with snooker balls and teddy bears and rolled up newspapers. They all get spat out of here. It's an absolute gimmick. It's absolutely awful. It's very heavy. Hey. So we're going to put it in the dog. Dog, please get look after the junk jet. It weighs 30 pounds. The dog can't even carry it. It's too heavy for the dog to carry. So we'll just offload as much of other stuff as we can into the dog. Okay, we're still overweight. God damn it. We're gonna have to eat. We're gonna have to eat squirrel on the stick, all right chunks. And then grill ranch stag to get our carry weight up so we can actually move. Ooh, a toolbox. Yes. Duct tape, yes please. Combination wrench, no. Nope. Fusion core, well that's four pounds of weight, but fusion cores are fairly rare, so we always pick them up when we meet them. Unlock this, this is going to turn the power back on. Alright, let's turn the power on. And very, very quickly, get back to the control room. Engine core power restored. So we need to shut this door. Thermal engine fueled. Prime. Because. Standing by for your command. That has alerted all the synths in the facility that we're here. And if we had not closed the doors, all these synths that are running down here would be able to come into this room and kill us. Paladin Dance is invincible. I mean, they will eventually knock him down, but you'll you'll take a knee and then he'll get back up and he'll keep fighting. And the interesting thing about this particular encounter is that these synths will constantly re keep spawning and dropping in from the roof. So what you can do, you can just stand here forever and let Paladin Dance kill hundreds of synths. But eventually their dead bodies will start to despawn. But I haven't got time for that. So let's just start the engine and roast everything in there alive. And don't worry, Paladin Dance will be fine. He's in power armor. Get a good view of this. So you can get an insane amount of loot from all these... All these dead synths. That was the longest five second countdown I've ever heard. Here we go! <laughs> that is awesome. Test and the door is magically open. With an efficiency rating of 96. As we see, you can get an awful lot of fusion cells from this encounter, and an awful lot of weapons as well, should you so wish. Now, none of these synths were actually wearing synth armor, which is a little bit unfortunate because synth armor is really good. Oh my god! Are you alright? Got cooked by those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. See, it's fine. Right, let's ride the elevator all the way up to the top and get into the control room. Sneak mode, gun out.
Right, let's go. That's where we're going. Oh, I see synths. Not sure where Paladin Dance has gone. You know what? I don't mind doing some of the fighting myself. Hell yeah. Meow. Yes. There he is. They're in the control room. Open fire. I know. I hope that's the last of them. Damn it. I don't see the device anywhere. Fan out and check the synth remains. They may have been after the transmitter as well. As he says, the synths did actually get the device. So we're going to have to loot it from one of their bodies. Here's a boss chest. 308 rounds we'll take. 45 we'll take. We don't use 50 cal yet. Here's a 50 cal sniper rifle. Ooh. Now that's better than the 308 sniper rifle we have. So I'm going to take that. Damn overweight, which means we're going to have to drop some stuff or take some drugs. We'll take some buff tats. Strength 3 for 8 minutes. Is 8 minutes going to be enough? Well, it's going to have to be. Uh, actually, no. That's not how you take drugs, you idiot. So we'll take the 50 cal rounds. So we're going to need them. Right, let's go here. Aid, chems, buff tats. Oh, good. Now we're addicted to Mentats or buff or one of them. Let's That's get out. the quest thing. We'll take the service elevator to the surface. I'm going to loot this room first, my friend. You just chill out here. Bottle cap, synth component, free plastic because it weighs nothing. Tablespoon. Why have they got so many spoons in their desks? What were these people doing? Nothing in there. And nothing in there. Okay, now we can leave. For some reason, there's a really good bit of loot in here. Well, that's fine. Alright, let's get out of here. Looks like there might be some more little bits of loot in here. Oh, there's some... Cigarettes. Yeah, the dog's barking. He's found some stuff. Vodka. Vodka. Aluminium can. A little pipe rifle. Gas canister with some oil in it. That's got oil as well. That's got copper in it. The dog's pointing at this. Anti antibiotics. Oh, that's good. I like that. Good boy. Good boy, doggo. Don't go too close to these barrels because they are irradiated. We're now at the back entrance of Arcjet. We need to speak to Paladin Dance. Paladin Dance. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. What are you talking about? We're fine. Smoother? I thought we did fine. That sweep was sloppy. We were caught unprepared more than once, which is unacceptable. However, your extra gun gave us the edge we needed. I'm not certain I could have accomplished the mission alone. Yeah, not with your Leroy Jenkins running ahead and triggering all the ambush things. I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. Hey, this is another unique weapon, and this is pretty damn good. This does plus 100% critical damage, so its critical damage does double. And its critical refill rate is 15%. When you target things in VATS, every time you hit them, you increase your critical recharge rate, and when it fills up to full, you can do a critical hit. So this thing recharges the critical hit refresh thing really quickly and it does double damage on criticals so it's really a rather nice weapon it's not as good as overseer's guardian but it is really good if you're doing a vats luck based build so we'll take it thank you that isn't necessary i insist you keep it 
The Brotherhood believes in paying all of its debts. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or, you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? It doesn't matter if you turn him down or not. You can switch between all the factions pretty much at will, up until a certain point, of course. I'd be honoured to join. That's what I wanted to hear. Meet me back at the police station and we'll discuss the details. Oh yeah! Right, that's a level up. Right, what are we going to do with this level up? We did kind of mention doing Locksmith 2 for Expert Locks. It's not the worst idea in the world. But of course, level 25 also opens Gun Nut 3. Um, sneak 4 is also really nice. The strong back doesn't actually add any more carry weight anymore. It just lets us use action points to run when we're over encumbered. I mean, can we turn down Gun Nut 3? I, I don't think we can. It's just much better than lock picking. So he's going to make his way back to the police station. And we're being given a quest to go back to the police station with him. But I would rather stop off at Grey Garden first and have a sleep to save the game and unload all of our stuff. And then we'll go back to the police station. So let's go. We're very heavy. We're carrying some ridiculous weapons. Turn the light off. Going to sneak mode, even though Grey Garden's literally right here. There are sometimes encounters between Arcjet and Grey Garden. So I'm just going to tap the VATS targeting button just in case anything does spawn. Yep, there's a red roach. How many red roaches are here? One, two, three. So we'll do one on that, one on that, and one on that. 95% chance to hit. Okay, we can only do... So let's get the 10 mil pistol out, actually. And try it with that. It's not as good a chance to hit, but it does have much cheaper action point things. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Well, that could have gone better. Could have gone worse, but you know, we got them all in the end. Get out of the way, dog. Rad Roach meat, don't really care. Scavenger, bobby pin. More meat. Bobby pin, jet. Yeah, he's got some good stuff on him. Little cooking station there. And tats, take the tato. Ooh, duffel bag. Oh, these guys were chem heads, weren't they? Yeah, total chem head. All right, onwards to Grey Garden. This is the house that's next to Grey Garden. We're very nearly home already. It's just as well, because we've only got eight minutes to get rid of some weight before our buff tats runs out and we become over encumbered again. I think we'll just store the junk jet here and leave it here. We're never going to use it. I'm not even going to hang it on the wall. Just gonna stick it in the workbench here and pretend it doesn't exist. Let's just sprint. We're almost there. There we are. Welcome, robots. So we go here, transfer all the junk and the junk jet. We are gonna wanna keep this 50 cal sniper rifle because it does a lot more damage on our 0.308. And it looks like it's got 
better upgrades on it than our current sniper rifle. Let's inspect this. What's this got on it? 100 receiver, long barrel, full stock, medium scope. And this one has 0.50 receiver, long light barrel, marksman stock, medium equipped jack, and a long scope. Yeah, it does have better stuff. So we'll just store our 308 here. That's fine. Righteous Authority will keep with us. We'll drop it off somewhere. We'll drop off the frag mines. We don't need them. Yeah, we can drop off some drugs and the stealth boy and all this stuff that we don't really need. We'll keep the quantums. Drop the vodka. Uh, no, we'll keep one vodka because it provides plus one strength. We don't have any addict all, which is a little bit annoying, which means we can't cure ourselves of our addiction to whatever drug it was. That's quite bad. I don't think we need to carry 16 rad stag, but we will. If we store it here, then we can't pick it up anywhere else because this is not an ender chest. Again, these stupid mods. Where is the dog? Dog is down here. Hey. Yep, give me all your stuff. Go here, store it. Okay, let's have a sleep. I'll see you in the morning. Hello, darling. What a pleasant way to wake up. Right, weapons workbench. Let's have a look at this 50 cal sniper rifle. Long light battle's good. Marksman stock is excellent. It's the best I can get. I don't really want a long scope on this. I just want a medium scope on it. So let's just do that. And I want to change a crosshair to the one that I personally like. Then this is modded stuff. So oh, it has a suppressor on it. That's quite interesting. So this is it's got a shorter range, but it's got much less recoil and won't alert things that they're being shot. That's quite good. Can we get a large quick eject mag? Yes, we can. Excellent. That's pretty much as fully upgraded as sniper rifles get. So that is pretty damn good. Right, what can we do with the Overshare's Guardian? We can get a calibrated powerful receiver. It doesn't actually put the damage up anymore, but it does increase the accuracy a tiny bit and reduces the spread. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Until we get good enough to put a 308 receiver on it, which is like level 40 something, that's going to be as good as it gets. Long light barrel reduces weight. Long ported barrel, minus 25 recoil, increases the sight time though. Right, we're going to put a light barrel on it. That's good. It's already got the best stock. Can't quite get a large quick eject mag on. We'll just leave it as the large magazine. We can get a muzzle on it now though. That's good. Muzzle brake, minus 20 recoil. Yes, please. Good. And we know that this is already fully upgraded. We know that we can't really do too much with Righteous Authority because we don't have the science skill yet. We can boost the damage up a little bit. Expend some of our crystal. And unfortunately, that's all we can do with that at the moment. Yes, I mean, 51's respectable. It's much better than the rifle, but it's nowhere near as good as a 50 cal or, of course, Overseer's Guardian. Because Overseer's Guardian is one of the best weapons in the game. But it's not a terrible backup weapon. I'm not sure we'll ever use it, but we'll assign it to hotkey 4 anyway and we need to assign this sniper rifle to hotkey 5 of course let's bring out our new sniper rifle nice and righteous authority not that we have very much ammo for it how much ammo have you got for the sniper rifle 13 rounds uh, it's not good so we can now drop off all the 308 ammo that we're carrying because that was for the sniper rifle which is now a 50 cal we'll keep the fusion cells that saved us a little bit of weight that's fine Let's investigate the armor. We were going to try and upgrade the... Yeah, the Destroyer's Greaves to heavy armor. Gives plus eight and plus eight to energy and physical resistance. Hell yeah. Nice. It's... Again, we need... Wow, armor rank four to do all this stuff. 
Wow, that's insane. If we had enough leather, we could do deep pocketed, but we don't, so we can't. Can we get pocketed on this? No, again, because we don't have any leather. Okay, that's fine. So once again, I think we're going to leave this episode here in Grey Garden. Two episodes in a row, we've come back to the same place after having completed a mission. We're going to have to find ourselves someone that can cure us of this addiction we have. Buff out addiction. Yeah, so we're... When we're not taking buff out, we lose one endurance. It just isn't a huge problem. It's annoying. It's not a huge problem. We've been given another quest to meet up with Paladin Dance back at the police station, then continue our journey to join the Brotherhood of Steel. All that really means is that the other two people in his team will give us never-ending radiant quests that could be anywhere on the map. So we'll, we'll talk to them anyway, because if the first couple of quests they give us are local, we'll do them and get some easy XP. And then we'll continue our journey back to the northwest and meet up with the Minutemen, who are another one of the factions. As we know, there's quite a few things up here, like quests we haven't done, like find the dead daughter's locket from the Abernethy farm guys who want to send us up here. There's a few other things to do. So when we come back, we'll do all that. I hope you look after yourself until then. I will talk to you again soon.